we have all been part of the firm stapati stapati was started over 15 years back and uh, we have always been involved uh, with uh, projects where we have uh, used uh, wood from old houses and furniture being demolished i remember george coming in and saying okay it would be interesting to start a, a, a line like that you know where every furniture can tell a story i think it was interesting when people came in a house and they wanted to know what is it was about what is the story of the whole thing and we had made sure that uh, all the textures and all the aging which has happened in the wood we made sure that it was all left as it is so that made it even more interesting the character and there's so much of history in that wood uh, uh it's sort of in in a normal sense would have been plain and lost you know so to retain that and actually create a furniture um had its own beauty and the best part is uh, no two furnitures will look the same because each furniture will have a different story to tell as well so i think it is it is uh, like like tony right he said when he when he ventured into this entire idea of you know sourcing these wood and reusing them uh it, it, we looked at it as a product that i would buy as an architect or i would also buy as a um uh, sort of a non architect as an end user as well so i think it is it was uh, it was it, it was almost as you know a proof of concept that this this product should work and and that's how the data story started yeah the brand is called smaram uh, we named it smaram because mara uh, is memory and maram in malayalam is wood so uh, most of our furniture range is going to be focused on the materials of wood uh, which we are getting and uh, the idea is that you know you add one more layer to the furniture than just being a piece of wood or whatever we are bringing in a story for each furniture each furniture will have a provenance it will tell you where it came from it's just not the material as a whole in terms of wood it's also the the form of the material or the character of the material itself so a lot of our furniture is inspired by the character be it a rafter be it, be it any small element that we have um, sourced from the house uh, so we we draw a lot of inspiration from by just sitting and looking at a piece for a while and seeing how we can reutilize that uh, in in different format of uh, you know furniture a lot of inspiration comes when you see the material and the character of the material itself yeah the, it is essentially uh, those wood telling us what to uh, do with it to do with it yeah. so the wood comes from south kerala where in south kerala we have a tradition of wooden houses and many of them are being uh, demolished to give way to this new houses new aspirations which they think they have the others which we cannot uh, conserve we use it for the furniture and at the moment it is from south kerala in future we may go to other parts of india also george himself i think is one of the most creative uh, architects i've met and you know his ability to think uh, totally different from there is so much of prototyping that that goes into a product like this because for me there is that that uh, it's a learning from him you know to see how it actually works you know because there are some of the furniture or in fact most of the furniture we use um, actually traditionally inspired joinery which which probably was not there even in my time so it it comes with so much of his experience in it to actually make it function or be work so i think it's a it's it, it, this is for me the best uh, sort of a you know uh, best point of you know collaborating with tony into in a furniture like this smaram was going to be very different in a sense that it tells a story and what we have done is that you know, all the furniture is going to have a mystery certification and where the provenance of each furniture uh, will be mentioned 
and uh, we are trying to see that every uh, sale which happens uh, further that is going to be on the blockchain as i mentioned earlier at the moment it is all from south kerala and the furniture which has come from uh, from the stories where the the old holders watch it maybe the moment we move out from south kerala and go to other parts of india we don't have a set plan saying that we're going to make you know 4000 bags or 20 bags you know let's make a range like this so it's sort of a mystery for us as well so we let like like tony earlier said as well we let them dictate what we need to do with it but we'll just keep we'll just keep doing uh, you know new products come out uh, again inspired from the story they try to i mean we become sort of like this uh, a channel of just telling the story what they want to say so it's going to be that next i mean so it's going to still a mystery on how what what the next series are